Hello and welcome. I'm happy to have you here and I'd like to thank you for all your support and following and liking my page. I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't liked or followed my page on YouTube or here on Facebook, then please do so. That would be awesome. So um, with the coupons, the special is still on. We're halfway through the month. Um, and it's for every $60 that you order, Stampin' Up! will give you a $6 coupon code to spend any time in the month of August. Um, so if you have a $60 order, you get one $6 coupon. If you have $120, then Stampin' Up! will give you a two, will give you two $6 coupons. And you spend them any time in August between the 1st and the 31st. So this special in July of gathering these coupons will go until the 31st. So with today's card, I was doing some thinking as I created and I thought, you know, the catalog has so many awesome, awesome ideas. And I feel it's important to get inspiration from them. I mean, you can start with this idea and then bounce off in whichever direction you want to go. But it gives us all a start of what we might be able to create. So I thought I would um, case from the catalog every Monday, um, and I'd call it just because I like rhyming things, Matching Monday. Um, so as long as I can do it, like there's um, a card for every stamp set. So on Mondays, it will be a Matching Monday, and today's card is coming from page 60, and it's this one right here. I just love that. It is so, so adorable. So let me turn you down. Started on our first matching Monday. My camera is slipping. There we go. So this time I am doing the back in As Your Afternoon. I didn't make my score line quite as strong as maybe I should have. There we go. Now it's nice and strong. So there's As Your Afternoon, then a basic white. And even though this is going to go flat on the card, we're going to do something different with it. <clears throat> so this is quite noisy. This is Boho Blue, and we're going to start this at the top. And I am going to use one of these it's a water painter and it comes in a set of three and each tip is a little bit different so you can see this one I'll turn this this way um, it's nice and wide it's not overly thick but it's nice and wide and then the other two see this one is thinner I'm holding it over the ink pad so hopefully you can see that a little better um, so this one is more narrow and about as thin and each one is filled with water and then you have the tiniest one of course because we need that for fine things and each one is just filled with water see the water the air bubble there now with these oh my goodness I had a fun time opening them you know the old rhyme lefty loosey righty tighty mm, reverse it for this one so lefty Lucy, no, you're going to go right and turn it and then just hold it under the tap and put it under. And instead of righty tighty, you're going to turn left. That's right. You're going to turn the opposite way to tighten it up. Or maybe that is right. Anyways, it seemed to be the opposite way of which I was thinking. See righty tighty. Oh, yeah. Lefty Lucy. Okay. Scratch that. My brain must have been on backwards when I was doing that. So fun. Okay, so for this technique, I'm just going to take an empty block and put it right on. This ink is boho blue. So get a lot of ink on there. Then I'm going to squeeze my tip until I can see some bubbles coming down because I want this to be quite watery. There they come. See that? Those wa the water coming down there? So I'm going to swipe on here and then I'm just going to swipe across 
my paper and to me it looks like water like the waves in the water and then we are going to take our spare paper okay it's coming out clear and then because this already has water on it it just wipes off beautifully then we're going to take as your afternoon did i cover up that shine Ooh, not so much how's that there we go so as your afternoon same thing get ink on the block get our bubbles going coming down here see i see some bubbles swipe the block and then just back and forth and if you need to pick up some more ink and keep going and you want it to blend into the other and then wipe it on a spare piece of paper till it's clear and we're done now because the water the paper is wet it's going to bubble or bend so just take a big block and just put that on there for a second Put that over there and that over there okay so just as that's <clears throat> becoming level again let me show you these cutouts that is for our words so here we have I want to say this is a coral reef and here we have the cutest oh somebody help me what this is um, I know I know it flat head oh I'm gonna have to look it up so what I did with him is I pulled out light smoky slate from the blends and I just came around the edges just to give him a little more depth and then go in here I could have done this on white cardstock low headed ah if anyone can think of the name of this please let me know i will look it up um but just i like to add a little dimension like oh like i said i could do this on white cardstock and then shade it all in with watercolor pencils or with um, the stamp and blends but for this one i just wanted to do the outline <clears throat> There's this. There we go. Just, I don't know, makes them pop a little bit more. And then we have <clears throat> these two um, for coral. You know what? Let's pull this out. Might be able to see a little better. So these, this coral is this one here. And it has, where are you? Right here. The dot, excuse me, the die for it. So here's the coral. And I just stamped gray granite on gray granite and then cut it out with this die. And then I did the fish all in lemon lolly. And so there's the big fish and then two little fish and these are the die is attached but the fish themselves are not so I did that one here's the cutout for the hammerhead shark I think that might be it and then we have a seashell and a lobster so there's the lobster and the seashell so if you can see it has its own design here so it doesn't really need a stamp, which is awesome. And then I cut out, these are from Shaded Spruce. This is Calypso Coral. This is Shaded Spruce. And again, it has its own design, which is awesome. Oh, and I had four fishes for here. 
And then I used the Make-A-Wish because that's what they had done. It's what Stampin' Up! had done. So there's the Dolphins, the Hammerhead, the Stingray, the Coral, uh, Zebrafish. So you stamp first the outline and then in a lighter shade you do the, the shaded stamp. So it's two stamp two-step stamping. Um, same with this one. I just didn't do it with this card. So thanks for everything. Here's to you, my friend. Happy birthday and make a splash. So let's lift this up. So now the card is a bit flatter and we are going to attach everything. So this will be um, a lot of dimensionals. The cards are fun when they have dimensionals. So I did a variety of large and small because some of the spots are too small for the big dimensionals. Let me just grab another package of big dimensionals. And then I used the small ones up at the top. Those two are done. I guess we could have left our block on a little bit longer as I did these. Those I did flat. Then the lobster was popped up. And then the fishes are all popped up. However, they are so small that I cut my dimensionals in half makes them a little bit fiddlier but you know what the fish popping up is so awesome it gives the shadow as though they were swimming Go one more. Oops. Oh, I just got the back off that one, so it's going to stick to everything. Hopefully, it'll let go of my finger, though. Perfect. <clears throat> and then these were flat. This one was flat, and you were popped up. And I think I used just a whole dimensional on him, right in the widest part. So let's start with our coral. Okay, so I put it down a little bit. So right there. And let's put our, our uh, shark, oh, shark on here. And let's put it maybe right up there, because I mean, he has to still be in water, right? So then let's put these pieces of coral on. And what I did for these is I just put a little glue here and then I put the coral on. And then it's automatically popped up. I don't need to worry about it. And then these, I put a little bit of glue on the back. Careful of all those holes. This one was going to peek through that coral. This one is going to go underneath the gray coral and go flat. Now we have our lobster and I'm going to tuck his tail a little bit under this coral. 
And then he's popped up this seashell. It's going to go here. And just pop on right there. Then our fish, this lovely big one. It's going to go right here in the deep water. And then we have this one goes by his tail. He's so happy. I bet you anything, he's just happy. He's in the water on these warm days. And then this one was underneath his belly. Then this one. How about right there? Oh, look at that. You can see that dimensional. Let's cut that off. I know people know there's a dimensional there, but I don't want a corner peeking out. There we go. And then this little guy goes right here in this coral. And then we take our, where did my long piece of white go? Right there. So this long piece of white, sorry about that flash of light, is um, right here. Make a splash. And I did it in Smoky Slate. So let's do that. And I'm probably going to trim it up a little bit more. It's so handy to keep all your small pieces of paper. So now I only have one way that I need to trim. And even though I don't cut straight with this trimming, it should be okay. Because I chose my long handled scissors. Well, it's pretty straight. I'll go with it. And then what we do is we take each one of these words individually, which is back to our mini dimensionals. Oh, right in the middle. This one is longer, so I'm going to put two. And this one, of course, will only get one. Now, so we want make first. So then, now this one I have a little bit different than what they did, but that's okay. Like I say, it's a bouncing off idea for cards, right? It's always good to look through the catalogs. Even past catalogs have some amazing, amazing ideas for cards. And you know what? If the stamp set isn't current, switch it up for one that you like. Like, it doesn't have to be the same, but the layout is something that you can copy. So then, we can put this right here. I mean, you can say take the same design and use 10 different stamp sets, and each one will look very individual, even though it's the same design. So look through your catalogs and enjoy getting some ideas from them. All right, isn't that so, so cute? Push hard, and because I put the block on it, see how now it's not bowing or warping in any way? And then I chose this bling. It is flat adhesive backed pearls because I thought they reminded me of seashells the most. So using my take your pick tool, I took a big one at the bottom of the ocean. And then to show off this one here. Now my bling is in a different spot than, than theirs is, are. Hmm, that one's quite, quite parallel to that one. So let's pick this up. Maybe put it up there. And there we go. There's the same card from the catalog. 
And if I put that aside for a second, get this one out. This is Smoky Slate. How about, what do we use? Make a splash. Here's to you. So that would be right here. So this is going to be a fun set to play with all week. I hope you come and join me and... If you do, say hello, whether you're watching the replay or the, well, I guess I don't have a live yet. In August, I will be doing YouTube Lives Wednesday morning at 10. I hope you come to join me. So we need something to go with this. How about we do this coral? How about right in the middle? Love it. So this one can go right in. And how does one put a card down, have it disappear? By putting a stamp set on top of it. And putting it in right side up is always a good thing. There we go. So there's today's card cased from the catalog for our Match Monday. Isn't that fun? Whoops. Glue it down. Let me turn you down. Thank you so much for joining me today on a Monday. I appreciate it. Um, isn't this card just so cute? And you know what? My grandson's birthday is this month. Guess what he's getting? He's getting some underworld awesomeness. So I hope you come and join me for tomorrow's card. Take care and have a great day. Bye for now.